Hello, welcome to class, my buddy. How are you doing today? All right, we're going straight into our topic for today, and that is what we call musical instruments. What did I say? Musical instruments. We are going to be looking at musical instruments today. First of all, we'll look at the, the topic, um, the definition. Then we'll look at the categories of musical instruments as well as the instruments and the sounds that they make. Are you ready? All right, so now let's go. A musical instrument is a device or object created to make sound. A musical instrument is a device or you say is an object that is created to make sound. All objects that produces sound is considered a musical instrument. So can you say that after me? A musical instrument can be defined as a device or an object created to make sound. And I said, any object that produces sound at all is considered what? A musical instrument. We'll not be staying so long on this because what we want to really get from this class is the type of instruments and the sound that they make. But now let's go to the categories of musical instruments. We have five categories. It has been classified into how many? Five categories. Instruments are classified in five different categories depending on the manner in which the instruments create sounds. Okay, so the manner at which the instrument creates sounds depends on how it has been categorized. So let's look at them. There are five. The first one is the idiophones. Idiophones, they are musical instruments that can make sound by being struck, being hit, or you shake it. By being struck, you hit it, or you what? You shake it. These are majorly idiophones instruments. The next we have is membranophones. Membranophones are instruments that are mainly made up of metal, wood, and animal skin. These are instruments that you can beat either with your hand or you can also hit with sticks so they are mainly drums okay the third one that we have here today is the aerophones aerophones are instruments made of metal they can belong to wind they can belong to brass they are instruments you have to blow in air because it is with the help of air that the instruments can produce what sounds you can get examples like theme whistle saxophone trumpet and so on and so forth the next is chordophones chordophones are instruments mainly made of strings yes they are mainly made of what strings the strings help to suspend the sound that is played it can be ukulele it can be violin it can be guitar harp and so on and so forth. And the last on the category is the electrophones. Electrophones are instruments that are mainly connected to electricity. Yes, mainly connected to what electricity is. With the help of electricity, you can play most of these electrophones. And you can have the piano, the keyboard, the electric guitar, Yes, and we have the one we call the drum set. It's an electric drum set. You connect it and you'll be able to play them. So these are the five categories of musical instruments we've looked at today. One more time, idiophones, membranophones, aerophones, chordophones, and electrophones. Now let's move on to the next, which is the types of instruments and the sound they make. The first one we have here on our list now i will need you to listen to the sound carefully because by the end of this class i'm going to be asking you the instruments you are listening to even as i strike or i play so the first one i have here is a tambourine a tambourine now let's listen to the tambourine sound now did you get that Okay, we are moving right away to the next instrument. And which one are you seeing here? We have the conga. We have what? The conga drum. We have the wooden block and the tea whistle. So just listen as I play the conga drum. I 
I'm going to be using my bare hands to play it. All right. It doesn't take too much. You don't have to put in too much, too much, too much weight. Then the next one I have is the wooden block. So that's that for the wooden block. It's more or less like us hearing all the sound. The next one I have here is the tea whistle. So hear the sound. Did you get that? Okay, let's move to the next musical instrument. We have the violin. All right, I don't need to tune the violin so well, but it's just for us to be able to hear the sound that it makes. All right, that's for that, for the violin. All right, and the next one there we have is the rattles. We call it rattles, we also call it maracas. Sometimes we take the maracas as the types that we hear in our traditional music. But for the rattles, mostly you play it in church. Not like you don't play the other one in church. We have it like, let's like say, the native rattles or the native maracas. All right, this is the, in the type you are seeing here, the type I'm playing. Okay, but for the other one that you see, mostly from this our side, we say at those states, the Benins, they play it a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So did you hear that? Now you can see that it's very loud. The native maracas is louder than the English maracas. Now hear the English, but hear the native. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, right away, let's go to the next musical instrument. Yeah, we have the native drums with sticks. That's the first time that we are going to be playing. These are drums too, made especially with wood. You can never have it as metal. Wood, and it has sticks at the top part, maybe around the top edges, and it's made of animal skin. You hear that all right and the next one i have is a twin gun and i'm also having a twin gun with me let's hear the sound a twin gun can make okay let's move on all right, we have next the talking drum. We have what? The talking drum. The talking drum produces sound mostly with, you see these um, strings all around it. That's what helps the talking drum to give you the different sounds that you want to, to have. Did you hear the sound? All right. <laughs> That's just the beginning. I want to hold the string so you'll be able to hear the different sounds it produces. Good, that's the talking drum. All right, we have the next one. It is the ukulele. Now listen to the sound of the ukulele. It sounds like a guitar, but it's not. That's the sound of the ukulele. I didn't play a guitar in the class today, so you should know that's the sound of a ukulele. All right, the next one we have here is the bass drum the bass drum is a very thick sound and you don't play it anyhow you just give it a normal hit mostly like you have the set of drums 
is the bass drum that gives the one two one two one 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 two count. So let's hear the sound. get that all right that's for the bass drum okay we'll move to the next one we have the xylophone the xylophone is more or less like a keyboard but the traditional one so you just hear the sound i'm going to make All right, so that's just the sound of the xylophone. All right, let's go to almost, if not the last one for the musical instruments and the sound that we can hear. This is a snare drum. A snare drum, yes, that's what this one is. So we are going to be hearing the snare drum as I play. As that forward the snare drum okay and this is where we're going to be wrapping up our class today like we can see there are lots of percussion instruments that you are seeing here okay um we talked about the five categories of musical instruments we said they are idiophones cardiophones electrophones aerophones and membranophones don't forget them you've been able to listen to 13 different types of instruments today and the sound that they make i hope when you get to see instruments hearing the sound you will be able to also identify now listen to the following sounds and see the instrument this is one of your assignments i need you to listen carefully listen words appropriately i'm going to be striking some instruments and you are going to tell me what they are five instruments that's what i want to strike in your assignment you are going to give me the answer and the number one instrument and um, i have to label it so you know that number one instrument is and our number two instrument for today is Okay, number three instrument today is number four instrument we have today is. The last but not the least instrument we have for today is okay and those are the five instruments that you are going to be telling me the name of the instrument one after the other don't forget you're going to itemize them number one number two number three number four number five what you need to do is to tell me the type the instrument that was played according to the sound you just heard you heard okay now i need you to take your quiz be sure of your answers before you click or yes 
Okay, so I'm going to be seeing you in our next class. But until then, it's me saying bye-bye. Much love, buddy. Take care of yourself.